all right fellows let's start with ratio problems okay first question would be like let me write it down if a is to b is equal to 5 is to 9 and b is to c is equal to 6 to 11 okay so we need to find what about a is to c okay second question would be a is to b is to c so now here we can write like a by b is equal to 5 by 9 we already know that okay and b by c is equal to 6 upon 11 but we need to find a is to c so to solve this a by b by b by c is equal to 5 by 9 but 6 by 11 but in this problem we would not be able to eliminate it because this will be again coming in the uh, lower portion so we need to eliminate it okay so now we need to write like this so I'll say this is wrong okay I'll go with like a by b by c by b okay is equal to 5 by 9 upon 11 by 6 so I'll 11 by 6 okay so this would be coming like b by c is equal to 5 by 9 into 6 by 11 okay this would be eliminated a by c is equal to 3 to the 6 3 3 the 9 pandani 10 upon 33 so a is to c is equal to 10 is to 33 okay so now we need to find a is to b is to c so to find this we need to make b equal in both the portion like here a is to b 5 is to 9 and b is to c is 6 to 11 so if you notice b is 9 here b is 6 now if we talk about this um, b is to c is equal to 6 is to 11 so i need to write something so that the b should be 9 i may i have to make here 9 so uh, what i'll do that i will multiply by 9 into i need to eliminate the 6 9 by 6 okay so here as well 9 by 6 so b is to c is equal to 9 is to 99 by 6 so now if you notice like a is to b is equal to 5 is to 9 mm, b is to c is equal to 9 into 99 by 6 okay so a is to b is to c is equal to 5 slash 9 is to 99 upon 6 this would be the answer uh, let me cut it it's 33 into 2 10 18 33 this is the answer problem number 2 divide 675 in a and b with 5 is to 4 okay so now part of a would be 675 into 5 upon 9 this 9 came with the addition of this so basically we have to add both the things I need to put in the lower portion alright now if you calculate it by after simplification this should be coming 375 in the same way part of B would be 675 into 4 upon 9 again the same thing like I'm telling you this should be coming at the down like this and then we can solve it is equal to 300 so this is the answer in a bag okay so we have one rupee coin and we have 50 passe coin we have 25 passe coin coins in a bag and the I mean they are 
they are in 5 is to 9 is to 25 portion okay if the total amount is 1008 rupees how many coins we have first of all let us assume that number of one coin is equal to x as per the portion it should be 5x 9x and 25x and if you if you add them the amount would be 1008 so now we have to make an equation like if we if we uh, know if we calculate about this 5x which is 1 rupee we can add it directly 9x is a 50 paise then we need to add 2 and if we talk about the 25 paise we need to add upon 4 is equal to 1008 or it would be 63x by 4 is equal to 1008 here you can say x is equal to 64 okay so now we'll go, go back to the same equation like we wrote 5x 9x 25x okay so now we will calculate it so 1 rupee coin would be 5 into 64 which would be 320 rupees 50 paise coin would be 9 into 64 which would be 576 and 25 paise coin is equal to 25 into 64 which is 1600 rupees so if you calculate all these three this would be coming 1008 this is how we solve this problem